Hello, I'm uh, Professor Ben McClellan from the Energy Economics Research Group of Kyoto University's Graduate School of Energy Science. So today I want to introduce our group to you. So what do we research? First and foremost, we research energy systems. So energy systems involve energy production through energy transmission, transport, conversion into fuels and electricity, all the way through to final energy consumption by various different forms of, uh, of energy consumers. We, within that, we research energy technologies. So we investigate different technologies, both those which have been used in the past, at the present, and those which might be used in the future, to see what their economic implications are and what, in particular, their environmental implications might be. We also look at energy scenarios, so taking those energy technologies and putting them into future potential scenarios to see what might be the overall implications if different rates of uptake of energy, energy technologies might happen in the future. Particularly, we want to know whether the environmental impacts will be better or worse, whether the costs will increase, and also we want to know whether those costs and impacts will be distributed across society equi equitably or not. Within that, we also want to understand uh, energy resources. Notably, we want to understand the critical resources or critical materials which go into producing energy technologies. We want to know whether the metals which are used for renewable energy technologies can, be, uh, can suffice for those energy technologies in the future, whether there will be enough of them and what the impacts of extraction of those will be and also where those extraction, extraction impacts might be because we note that for technologies such as renewable energy, such as also electric vehicles, there will be more metal mining in the future. We also want to know particularly where, are the, where will the social impacts be? So for example, when we have power plants shutting down, coal-fired power plants shutting down and being replaced by renewable energy, will the local communities suffer or will they be able to reduce, replace those, uh, those industries? We have examples from the past of coal mines shutting down and the surrounding regions basically being left without sufficient employment or sufficient, uh, sufficient benefits to support those, those societies. So we want to know a lot about that. We're also interested in where new resources might come from. So new communities which might get exposed to, uh, to the extraction of resources and in particular we also want to look at deep ocean mining. So deep ocean mining has been posed as an option for extracting metals, particularly some of those metals which are used for batteries, things like cobalt, manganese, um, and also for copper, gold and other useful and precious metals. So, but the deep ocean is very unknown. So we want to understand how, that, uh, how the environmental impacts of extraction might uh, affect both practically the environment, but also in terms of decision making. We want to be able to provide information and help use, uh, provide new methods for societies, communities to be able to make decisions on whether we should do deep ocean mining at all. We also do, do research on coffee. So coffee is a very important global commodity. Some may say that coffee is one of the most important energy sources of their day. It's also, for us, a passion. But we also look at coffee research from an environmental perspective and also from what we would call industrial ecology perspective. So trying to integrate some of the waste streams from coffee to reduce the overall environmental impact. Now, why would we do this type of research? There are a number of reasons. Firstly, we want to be able to help provide solutions which make adequate uh, and appropriate de decisions or help make appropriate decisions for society for the future. We think there are opportunities um, which could open up through our research, which we could find maybe uh, areas for, uh, for exploitation of, uh, of new energy technologies which have not been looked at before or for new policies which might be able to further enhance those, those technologies and their uptake. We also want to think about our legacy and uh, as researchers, as individuals, and how we can enhance that 
uh, enhance the legacy that we leave for society and for the environment. And of course, it is uh, for us mostly about sustainability. So how can we, within our lab and with our research, help to enhance sustainability? Now, one of our benefits in this lab in particular is that we're very international. So you will hopefully feel very welcome in our lab. We do all of it, uh, much of our research in English, and if, uh, if English is your primary language, uh, then we use that. Um, if you can speak in Japanese, then we can, also, we can also do research in Japanese. We have many international students. We encourage you to write your thesis in English, and we also encourage various opportunities to study abroad, whether it be through double degrees, through long-term exchanges, or even just through short-term visits to other institutions. We also encourage students to be um, involved in various different research collaborations domestically and internationally, where it is possible. Um, and we're always looking for opportunity to collaborate. We have, in the recent years, had continent, uh, have students from all six continents, uh, or inhabited continents, and so we'll introduce a few of those later. So finally, I'd just like to say welcome to our uh, welcome to you. Uh, if you'd like to apply for our research group, then we're very happy to have you here. Selamat datang di Energy Economics Laboratory. Bienvenidos al laboratorio. 欢迎来到能源经济研究室。Kyoto ようこそエネルギー経済学研究室へ日本でお待ちしております